Hey guys and welcome to our channel and in today's video I will show you how to send emails from WordPress with an SMTP plugin. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. Alright, so we have this test website that I created specifically for this tutorial. And let's say we would like to create a username or we would like to register into this website. So we will go into the register page and we will enter our details here like username and email. So I will copy the email address from here and I will create the username here. So if WordPress works correctly, I should get an email with credentials that I was able to register successfully. And here is my password and my username. But because WordPress is not set up correctly, I didn't get anything. Doesn't matter how much longer I'm going to wait. So we will need to fix it. And for that, we'll need to go to our website and log in as admin, right? And from there, we'll need to go to the back end of our website. We will do that in a second, but I wanna tell you that the reason why your user can't get emails from you is because WordPress by default using the PHP method to send emails. We will need to fix it and tell WordPress to use our hosting company to send our emails instead. So let's navigate to the back end of your WordPress website into plugins and add new. And here we will search for an SMTP plugin. SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol and that's an application used by mail servers to send and receive outgoing emails between senders and receivers. Now there are many SMTP plugins, they are all very easy to use. In this tutorial we will use the EasyWP SMTP plugin. Uh, so we will click on install and activate and then we'll click on back to dashboard and it will take us directly to the settings page of this plugin. So as I told you earlier, WordPress will use the PHP function to send emails, but that doesn't work. We'll need to change it and choose a different provider. Because we already have a hosting company, we will use our hosting company to send emails. So let's click on other SMTP. And here we will need to fill the relevant details such as SMTP host, username and password. The SMTP host most likely will be name. We will verify it later, that's for sure. But just as example, I will show you what it looks like. So it's name. Now right now this is our domain name, but because I don't own this domain, it's just a test website I created to test WP it won't work. I will need to use a domain name that I actually own. So in order to do that, I will first of all delete this one and go to my cPanel. I specifically use HostGator as my hosting, but the process is identical with any hosting company that has a cPanel. Then you'll go into the email accounts tab. And here you can use any of the email accounts you already have, or you can create a new email account. So let's create a new email account. I will choose my domain name from the list. Of course, I will go with plugins for wp.com and I will just need to create the username. The one come before to the at. So in this example, I will just call it test. So it will be test at plugins for wp.com and I will generate a password. Let me just copy the password to the clipboard. We will need to use it in a second. So just paste it in a safe place. Then click on edit settings and change the box size to unlimited and create the email account. Excellent. Now you should be able to see the new email account you created in this emails list. Once you found it, click on the connect devices button. It will take you to this page with all the details and the credentials how to set it up. So as we can see, this is an SSL configuration, so we will need to use it accordingly. As I mentioned earlier, our SMTP host, it's most likely will be mail our domain name, as you can see it over here. So we can post it here inside the SMTP host. Then we'll change into SSL. We can see that the port is the same port, which is good. 
and now we'll just copy our username and password and paste it in the matching field so the username is here and the password we just copied to the clipboard a second ago will be pasted here just like so then just scroll down you can change anything you want for example in the general settings i will change it to test at plugins for wp because that's the specific account i created and then i will save the changes after saving the changes it should work perfectly fine so let's test it once again we'll go back to our website from an incognito window and this time we'll ask to uh, resend our new password okay so we'll copy our email address from here we'll paste it over here and we'll click on send new password if it was set up correctly, we will get an email from our WordPress website. So let's switch back to our email account and we can see that we received the email perfectly fine with all the details we set up in the last screen. All right, guys. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please let me know if you have any questions regarding the process by leaving a comment down below. Please also like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel because there are more great videos on the way. I will see you all in the next video.